I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. So just let me know if you want to see more. Right, thanks. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <clears throat> oh, sweet papyrus! A real visitor! I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By that holy book! The Guild Seal! I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Uh, then you are? The Prince, yes. Oh, my! Uh, please, come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it.
Ah, hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. Apparently, as you use it, the blade... That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose. Later.
Ah, hello, yes. You'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that was only partially correct. According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapons. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming... The pistol! Excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. Welcome to the Sanctuary.
open to the light. There is much you need to know. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater. And we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion. And I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Blessed Index Cards, you made it! This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again! If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern.
We will not be undersold. That is our non-binding guarantee. So what level hero are you? Don't just buy from anyone. It's buy from fun. me. You were successful then. Bloody marvellous. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Come with me. Sell me your unwanted items. I want to buy them. One of the mercenaries. A cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Sell it to me! Hmm... You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. I have the best shop in Brightwall. We're low on stock, so I'll... I hope I can make a profit on that. I just... You've amassed enough money to buy a house. Houses are excellent investments. Besides, you'll need somewhere to live if you meet that special someone. Come back if you have anything else to sell. Do you have anything I can buy off you? Thank you for your custom. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Need some help there? Yeah, it may be expensive. What is it you need? You're paying top gold for a top quality item. It appears you have all the required ingredients for your distasteful mercenary disguise. The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. Perfect. You look dangerous and devoid of all human de- The beard and the tattoo are splendid. You're just missing one thing. The mercenary outfit. Ah, yes. Very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Saker, hadn't you? Ha <laughs> <laughs>